Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here to talk about the end of support for BlackBerry Android apps as of August of 2022, later on this year. And I, I know if you're a BlackBerry fan, especially now we're talking about the Android ones. We just had the BlackBerry 10 end of life on January the 4th, and it seems like the hits keep coming if you're a BlackBerry fan. Of course, we haven't had a new phone in going on four years now. We're still waiting on the device and more updates from Mobility. But right now, there's not a whole lot out there on the market. You might be using a Key 1, a Key 2, a Key 2 LE, a Motion, and you're concerned. And I made a video previously because there are going to be some Android, the BlackBerry Suite apps that are end of life in a couple of months, things February, March. I made a video about it already. But this one is specifically dealing with the BlackBerry Launcher and some other BlackBerry apps. So what you need to look for here is August of 2022, BlackBerry is going to officially end support for their launcher, for the password keeper, for privacy shade. There's a couple of them. Uh, I'm not sure if this is an exhaustive list, but for the BlackBerry keyboard, which if you've noticed already, you can't even get that in the Play Store. Here's the thing I want to say. This is not the end of the world. The phone is still going to function. It's still going to work. What it means is there's no longer going to be any updates for them. So they should continue to work in their current state. But the BlackBerry launcher is a big one because, well, that's what's run on the Android BlackBerry devices. Whenever you pull it up and everything that's integrated in there, whenever you pull up your phone, let me go ahead and unlock my screen here, the BlackBerry launcher itself is the primary thing. Also, the DTECH security software, there won't be any updates to that any longer. And yes, the launcher, DTECH security app, password keeper, keyboard privacy shade. The thing here is those things haven't been updated in forever. So they're basically going to continue running the way they have for a, quite a while. I don't know if there's ever going to be a problem with compatibility if, let's say, two or three years down the road, they just stop working. But here's the thing. The hardware is already old. When we look at what we're running here, the BlackBerry Key 1 has got a Snapdragon 625. It's very old. The Key 2 LE has a 636. The Key 2 has a 660. These are kind of becoming archaic in the Android world. And it doesn't mean the phone's going to stop working. See, the phone, the underlying software that is run is Android 8.1. Google's not going to discontinue support for that for a while. So that means that you're still going to be able to use your apps. You're still going to be able to access the Play Store. It'll still be business as usual for a very long time. What you need to worry about is one day when Android 8.1 is no longer supported, and that's largely by developers. And if you look, there's still quite a bit of people around the world still using Android 8. We just got to Android 12. Yeah, four years may seem like a long time, but when you think about the fact that some Android apps still work on the Android 4 runtime, I don't think you're going to have any problems moving forward for a long time. The bigger overarching concern, of course, is the, you're not going to get any more security patches, but many of these phones haven't gotten security patches in years, with I think the key one being like April of 2019, the last time it got one, and most people's key twos haven't gotten one in well over a year. So moving forward, it may seem like a very bad thing, but really, it's basically your phone's going to continue to work. It's going to be business as usual. This official support is not going to end until August of 2022. And that's still a little ways off. So your phone is still going to work. It's going to work just fine. It's just one of those things. As we move forward in this technological world where things are ever moving, BlackBerry has made it very clear that they're no longer in the handset business, so they quit support for BlackBerry 10. That hasn't been updated in years and years anyway. And then they're not going to support the app suite, which we talked about already, starting, I believe, it's, I believe it's March, if I remember correctly. And that's another thing. It hasn't been updated in for forever. So over time, eventually, yes, it's going to stop working. One day, probably three, four, five years from now, it's going to be problematic. The biggest issue here now is, of course, the carriers, because if you look around, you can't use some of them with AT&T anymore because they're not whitelisted. They don't support voice over LTE on their network for phones they didn't support. The last kind of savior out there for LTE and GSM networks is using it with T-Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile, or Mint Mobile. And of course, if you live overseas, then you might not have that problem because you can still use it with 2G and 3G. So the phone itself, the Key2, Key2LE, the Motion, the Key1, even the DTEX and the Privs, they're going to continue to work. You can keep using them. The hardware itself, of course, is becoming dated. The batteries are going to get more dated. And a lot of people have run in that already. So don't worry too much. And I'm sorry it took me so long to get to this. I know this popped up about two days ago. I've had some questions about it. I've uh, been very busy. And today is actually my birthday. I wasn't going to record a video today. Uh, I actually recorded three and edited them last night. 
But, you know, being a one-man show and working a full-time job and having six kids, I make I already make videos every day. So, uh, but this is a big thing for me. My BlackBerry community, you guys are, of course, don't tell everyone else, y'all are my favorite. Uh, BlackBerry phones are, of course, my most favorite of all time. I love the physical keyboard. I love BlackBerry. I love the BlackBerry security. We're still waiting. Of course, Onwarability is supposedly going to put out some sort of an update towards the end of the month to let people know what's going on. I hope that they stick to that. They said they were going to. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of angry people if they don't. But to answer this question, you can keep you as long as your network still supports your BlackBerry phone, you can keep using it. So don't worry about it for now. Maybe have an exit strategy towards the end of the year, next year. We're gonna look into that. I'm gonna keep you guys updated just because BlackBerry 10 is end of life, and just because the Key 2 and the, key, you know, the BlackBerry mobile phones are older, doesn't mean that I'm not still going to cover them and support them and keep you guys updated as best as I can. But just know that one day they won't work anymore. But, I mean, that's with anything. These have actually held on. A lot of people have held on to these phones for so long, there's still quite a few people out there still using them. And I love you guys. You're great. And, of course, we're still Team BlackBerry. So don't worry about it. Don't get yourself stressed out about it. And just we'll keep moving forward. It's just one of those things where it sounds bigger and worse than it actually is. But as far as the phone's still working, it's going to continue to work. You're still going to be able to use it as you've been using it. And just as a reflection, as a observation here, there have not been any updates in a very, very long time on any BlackBerry operating system, any apps, any BlackBerry suite stuff. So stay calm. Everything's going to be all right. Keep using it as you do. And the biggest thing, of course, is like I said, it's going to be the network compatibility before it ends up being a software-related issue. Or it's going to be a hardware-related issue just because it's getting so old. You've used it for three, four, you know, going on five years next year, some of these devices. So I know it's a lot. I know it's stressful. I know it seems like the hits have just kept coming lately, but it'll be all right. So if anything else comes about, I will keep you guys updated. If you have any questions or comments, please go down to the comments section. I'll address them and I'll talk with you there. And as always... Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button, all that great stuff. And you guys rock. Thank you for your support. Thank you for still supporting BlackBerry and me. And I'll see you guys next time.